Hey everybody, welcome. It is so good to, well, I was going to say see you guys. Uh, I can't see any of you guys, but uh, hey, uh, we are here today with Bubble Stall Cup. Here, you want to say hi to him? There he is. Hey. 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 What's up, everybody? You guys. There everybody. they are. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, I'm excited to be here. Bubba and I uh, did this before. We've done, we've done this. Uh, he was our first, uh, that, that made it sound weird. He was the first guy to ever hey man. be, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, the first guy to ever be a guest on save point ministries, uh, on our save point stream. And we did it. We did the thing. And then I forgot to click the button that said to save the VOD <laughs> to Twitch. And so it kind of disappeared into the ether. And so, uh, we're here, we're here again and we're going to do this again, but it's okay because last time we played happen Lance and it was absolutely goofy and oh, hilarious, great. man, I laughed so fun. hard, but happen Lance also kept glitching and, uh, <laughs> and like we couldn't play the game fully well. So we chose a game that wasn't in early access this time. Uh, we chose a game called nobody Save the world. Steven Ridley, man. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before we get started though, Bubba. Let's talk about you. Tell us a little about you. Uh, tell us what church you go to and tell us, a, a, give me a quick blurb about Love Thy Nerd. We'll talk more deep about all that stuff later, but yeah. Right. Yeah, I should be able to do this, man. Right. I guess yeah. <laughs> I, I know, I'm so nervous. Um, yeah. About me. My name is Bubba Stalkup. I'm CEO, founder, president of Love Thy Nerd. It's a ministry that exists to be the love of Jesus to nerds and nerd culture. And we do that by helping example by example and also helping to train people on how better to love and serve their nerdy neighbor and we go all over the place do a bunch of things online offline irl all, all that stuff um, we're going to be hosting a really dope conference here in november at my local church and that is first baptist church of marble falls in marble falls texas and man it is I'm excited to tell you about my church. Like I even went back and thought, I was like, man, you know, I did not, I don't think I said enough good things about my church last time <laughs> I was on. So this is perfect. But we, they're excited. They're legitimately excited. I tell people all the time, it is, um, it's sometimes the most and the least Baptist church that I've ever been a part of. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, we've got some really cool things that we do. And then we have some like really like, you know, what I would consider to be traditional Baptist doctrine things that we do. But at the end of the day, it's like, man, we have, we have people from, you know, Methodist background. We have people from Episcopalian, Catholic, um, non-denominational, obviously old school Baptist, like, the whole thing it's like a melting pot sometimes so much so that when people come in i have to explain to them like man i, I really don't want to i don't think i, I want to go to a baptist church i'm like this is perfect then, <laughs> then you're, yeah you're here it's perfect <laughs> this is the don't not be baptist fooled. church yeah <laughs> well it's really hard because the name of the church is first baptist church like it doesn't really get much more staunch right than first baptist church but our pastor, Ross Chandler, has done a really great job over the last, geez, almost 13, 14 years that he's been there of making it a place where people can come and feel accepted and loved and really get involved and engaged in things that they're passionate about. That's so, awesome. Very, very yeah. cool. Okay. So let's go. Let's go and get started here. Oh, let's play a game. Hey, hey everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, we're playing uh, Nobody Saves the World here. Uh, you missed the kind of intro because we want to make sure we were connected and whatnot. But a uh, basic premise of this game is that you are a nobody. You're, you're just this little kind of formless human being without pants on. Uh, the fact that you have, don't have pants on is something that's talked about. So you can see right here, where are your pants? Uh, yeah. Amnesia, whatever. The bottom line though, is that, uh, there's a wizard that's missing and the world is kind of like going to crap around us. And so, we have to uh, we have to find a way out, but I don't like, 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 much like we played. You and I played a lot of times. We played yeah. a lot of times yesterday, uh, aside from each other. Like right. yes, like and you tell me because I'm not I'm not really sure that the that the the story is like the most important thing. About not not this game. not in the least. No, <laughs> that's why I just gave you the gist more than anything though. Uh, there's some yeah. fun stuff that goes on with it that we'll get into in a bit here. Uh, let's, uh, I, it's, it's worth breaking everything, but just for the sake, it's not fun to watch somebody 
walk around. Yeah, Bubba feels right at home. That's right. It's just, hey, Steven, my guy, come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, do you, do you so, do voices, Bubba? I do. Like, here's the thing. I do them for like 10 minutes. And like, that's all, that's all I got. <laughs> and so I'm just, I'm an A spammer because, you know, like I said, like the, the, it, the story doesn't matter. We're trying to find this ma magician yeah. there. I, I just summed it up for you. There it is. Uh, I love doing voices. It's one of my favorite Ooh, things go. in the world. And, uh, so, I mean, you're, you're right. I don't think it's very important in this. I think it's more interesting for us to play. But uh, I, I, like, I played a game back when I had a YouTube channel and uh, Spiritfarer. And me and my oh, co-host, yeah. there's like 20 different voices in that. And me and my host, like, split them down, or co-host split them down the middle. And we had a lot of fun. It was a <laughs> real good game. Oh, man. I, I think, like, if we were doing, like a like, a big playthrough, content like that was the content as we were going to sit here and play through the game i'd be down to do that we we i was talking to, to frost about this to luke about this he and i were having like a genuinely good time playing grounded just yeah we were having fun playing grounded and it was one of those things that i'm like we should we should keep doing this <laughs> and he's like I'd, I'd be down for that hey, bubba you want to be my friend yeah like, <laughs> If, if if we enjoy this and we have a real good time, we should keep doing this. I would I would love just to have you back for uh, content in general. Yes, I know how to to do that. Uh, yeah. Just just for funsies to stream and play. Nobody saves the world because this game is enjoyable. Bo was saying that I... you, you were telling me that uh, you. Uh... Oh right, right. You you fired up the game yesterday just to see. Uh... There you go. Yeah, just to see what's going on. And then you, you ended know? up like playing a, a whole lot of it. I played six and a half hours of it yesterday. Oh, I didn't play that much. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, I I only stopped because my wife was like, "Hey, um, hold LB to open the script. Try. I already did that. Do I need to do a thing now? I don't know. Maybe I also have to do it. Maybe that's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there, I did. I did things too. Look at all the things I did. Are you happy? Interesting. Like I saw all of that. Yeah, yeah. I saw you going through it too. Not enough stars. Okay. What do you want me to do here, guy? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Examine your surroundings. There it is. That's all it was. Got it. We need to level easy. up. Kate, easy. This game's easy. Dude, Kate, Spiritfarer is one of my all-time favorite games. That game made me cry like three times. Of course, I, I'm the guy who, like, if it's a really dramatic commercial, I'll be like, we're going to save those cats. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> it was, what was it? It was the office, right? Where it, there were uh, Pam, she was highly emotional. I think, I think it was because she was pregnant. Right. I think that's exactly what it was. And she's like, he's just trying to hide his bone. Yeah. And it's the. <laughs> You gonna rat? You gonna do the rat thing? I can't because we're on your. Oh, here we go. I th I think we're sharing progression right now. Right, but when you open the menu, I cannot open the menu, like because I can see your menu oh. opening happening, and therefore uh, I have to wait for you to be done for me to actually jump in there. Okay. I see you, game. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's letting us fully experience this together. You see each other's pause menus and everything. I don't I don't know how much I like that, but okay. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, so here here is the basic uh, actual like hook of the game chat is that uh, you learn how to shape shift into different creatures and the cre different creatures have different abilities and uh, you then will have like challenges with each creature on ways to level up and different styles of play and whatnot and you're going around and killing monsters. Uh, so this is our first form is a rat rats have poison and chomp. And, uh, so I like to just bite until they're poisoned and then walk away for a bit and avoid them. Ah, oh, you coward. <laughs> he who bites and runs away lives to bite another day. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, like, honestly, w when you said, Hey, let's play this game. I, I looked at it and I saw it. I, I watched the video and I was like, oh, it seems like 
pretty fun. Like, you know, it's not a big deal. You know, it's whatever. I played a lot of, you know, silly games like this before. Yeah. But I'm serious. And then I played six hours of it. <laughs> and it was like, I want to I want to keep playing this game. And so we started over at the very beginning. Um, <laughs> and that's actually totally fine <laughs> like with me. Yeah, yeah. To do that again. Because I think what I'm going to do is I just went, uh, you unlock different forms the, the longer you play and the higher you go. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to... I'm going to go back to this guy because there's like a mechanic thing that you can unlock. There, Like there's forms off of him that you can unlock. Oh. And so I'll let you do. Yeah. Be the rat. And animal, you can... animal stuff. If you want to. Yeah. Oh, for this guy's sure. squishy though. <laughs> Woof. Yeah. Look at your HP. Dang. He is squishy. Yeah. No worries. I'm, uh, no worries. Just, just so you know, the rat is your tank. There is a small rat, and I'm oh having to gosh, tank for dude. you. I'm not going to be able to tank for you. I'm getting munched yeah, over on. here. I'm getting munched. Gonna... So the, the rat has a really cool ability where like, its chomp will actually heal. And so... Yeah, but we don't have that ability yet, right? I thought that's what this was. Oh, the is this chomp? the one that heals us? Consume? Can, like, Because the, there ends up being an X ability when we level up that uh i have one you do oh so do i oh we have it okay cool i don't remember i just gotta, I just gotta not die yeah yeah maybe they have to be poisoned first for it to work i'm not sure uh i did not die at all in my game that i was playing before and not uh, one time not one time no and uh we're getting to the point that i'm gonna i feel like it might happen in like the I intro levels here yeah well i'm kind of messing around here trying to learn some new stuff i think <laughs> i I think I died. Ah! Why? Oh, you die? Yeah, yeah. I got five seconds. Just, just don't, don't die too. Live, okay. live, Bubba. There, I'm back. Okay, now you can. Oh, now you, now you can okay. die if you want. Now I can die. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> as long as it's planned, I guess that's all that matters. Right, right, right. Dude, that little whirly dervish guy. Yeah, he he whirls a dervish. That's for sure. I just forgot which oh, one yeah. I was, and I thought I was oh, controlling no. you. Uh, yeah, no, I'm the blue. I'll be the blue one. Right. I'll be the blue one this time. Ha! Get How poisoned. many people can play this game? You know? I don't know. That's a good question. I just saw that it had online co-op, and I'm ow, I walked into that eyeball. Yeah, I just saw that it had online co-op, and uh, wanted to jump in and play it. I feel like there's definitely an increase in difficulty now that we're playing co-op. Uh, yeah, it uh, <laughs> did a good job of scaling. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... So you said you go to. Uh, I have a very important question for you, Bubba. I am ready. A vital question. You ready. said you go to First Baptist Church. I do. What does that mean? What what is what is the First Baptist Church like? A great question. To me. Go go eat food. I... There you go. I have, I'm, I kind of make fun of things quite often um, because I think that, you know, First Baptist Church, it's, it's inaccurate. Um, it's, it's just not accurate information. It's not the First Baptist Church. <laughs> I guess it is maybe, maybe even technically speaking, the First Baptist Church of Marble Falls. Um, but I was like, I would say, man, I wonder who's, who's very First Baptist Church. Um, <laughs> who's or, you the know, like actual I always, first? I always like the, uh, you find like there are legitimate like second Baptist churches. Right. Um, yeah. Second Baptist Houston is one of the largest churches just out there. Um, Ow. Ouch. Yeah. He, he done oh, no. did a hit. Don't do a hit. Spinny boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. So you, you, you're you saying that you don't actually know, like, why so many things are called First Baptist or First Methodist or whatever? I, I, I mean, I, I think it, it has to do with, like, regional stuff, you know, like, we're the first one in this area or we're the is? first ones to secure it, you know? It's like <laughs> world's best cup of coffee kind of a yeah, deal exactly. sometimes, <laughs> I think. Congratulations! You did it! World's yeah, best you, you, cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, real buddy the elf situation. Yeah, there. exactly. You're the first one. That's awesome, guys. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> so, I mean, like to be fair, our church was founded in 1888, which is no small feat. Right? Yeah, like, it's been around for a hot minute. Yeah. 
But I mean, it, it's it's one of those deals where I'm I'm really proud of our church in that we don't we don't just live in like tradition. We don't shun tradition, but we don't Baptist. live in it. Uh, yeah, Kate would know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, we don't just live in, in that tradition, um, but we also don't not just live in it. And so, all right, what do we do? What How do we, we, why do we not have, oh, we, we, cause we didn't, uh, we have to, we have to go kill, go more kill things. some stuff. Yeah. I remember this is the exact same thing that happened to me last time. Steven Ridley. Hey Frost, what's up, man? Steven, you binged hey. it. Like actual used the Bing search engine, you're an agent of chaos. Oh, he's got to get those points, man. Like for <laughs> sure. There. Uh, for sure. You did the thing. All right. Uh, what All were right, you doing? Frost not... in a meeting, set up a new camera, which had me running around the neighborhood a bit. No worries, hey. man. We're just we're just scavenger hunt, playing some nobody save the world. 1888 wow i was listening to man. a uh, a british comedian a while back and they were talking about how uh he was talking about how funny it is to listen to americans talk about how old things are because <laughs> he's like you guys will be like this was made 75 years ago and <laughs> it's like we've got things that are like 700 a thousand years old you know <laughs> yeah uh, dude's got probably a toothbrush older than the United yeah. States of America. Here. <laughs> so you're there like 1888. That's cool. I mean, that's super old, but yeah. it's just funny when you think about it in British terms, European well, terms. And, I mean, you think of like all of the, like all the change that's happened in, you know, almost a hundred and what is that? 130 years. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Like it's a lot, you know, and for a church to still be around and to still, you know, have, any any prominence any you know say any wherewithal in in the space um that's kind of a big deal oh, you know I forgot i can do you nope, got it can't no hang on let's see do we have to oh we have to manually do it first yes okay, first time you got to manually do it there i'm a ranger let's go and so our church is really good about at least trying its hardest to you know be important to the community you know yeah absolutely. do stuff like that i guess that's the more uh important part of it than knowing if you're the first or the second one or whatever you know yeah <laughs> man i don't want to change me back i don't want to be that one be the rat you want to be the rat okay i'll be the ranger yeah i'll be the rat i'll be a ranged guy for now take that take that so you can see chat now we didn't just shape drift into a rat. Now I'm a ranger. He's a rat. We also have the the knight, which is the guard, which is actually my typical, like the one that I use the most is the gar. Oh, really? Yeah. For me, I said, oh, so again, I don't know how far you got. For me, I used the slug for a very long time. I did not get I a slug. I love the slug. And then from there, the turtle. And I kind of hovered on the turtle. Wow. That was where I was when I left off. Yeah, no, the, the last one that I got before I stopped playing was a horse. I got a horse. I got the horse too. And yeah. then, uh, hey, chat, just so you know, there is a horse romance that you meant to get into, and it's very tender. I'm not going to lie. The, the writing in it is so. Yeah, it just make, makes beautiful. you weep, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arata Alata. That's a. <laughs> dude, did y'all like uh, the Batman? Because I'm not going to lie. I did. I know a lot of people did not. I did enjoy I... it. I did not like it. I was actually very against it the first time I saw it. I saw it in theaters and I was like, uh, this movie could have ended 14 times and that would have been just fine with me. Um, <laughs> it was about half an hour too long, I think. Maybe 20 minutes too long. But then, but then I went back and I watched it um, as, I almost said as an adult. Um, I went back and watched it <laughs> with my grown-up pants on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I let everybody influence me and then I <laughs> I, I went back and watched it again and I was like no this is actually like a really great movie but uh, I did not appreciate it first viewing as somebody who likes film like as a cinephile there were a lot of things that 
I feel like we're kind of trying to go like high high cinephile like this the amount of reference to classic noir films and yes and things like that that I could absolutely understand that if you don't recognize that it's like why are they doing that what is happening right now why is everything so dark all the time why is, all the time. Why is there so much internal monologue what is happening all the time yeah <laughs> But as somebody who loves that type of stuff, including uh, old noir films and uh, noir stories, I loved it. Dude, I was uh, – other than I agree, it could have been 20 minutes shorter. Here, why don't you go get uh, – why don't we do rat stuff up here? Oh, let's go do rat some stuff. Yeah. Ready, right, right, right. Ow. Get ratted, yo. Uh, Yeah, you can have that. There we go. We did it. Oh, wait. There's a coin. Every last penny. Yeah, get Every all. nickel. I <laughs> uh, gotta catch them. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, I mean, even the, uh, like, the, wait, the, wait, the super... Wait, wait, there's a chest over here. Hey, where are you going? Every nook and cranny, Bubba. Every I, nook and cranny. I mean, we'll do cranny. it. <laughs> <laughs> do hood rat things. We can do hood rat stuff, my friends here. It's fun to do bad things. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the internet is the best sometimes. <laughs> Just the absolute best. Who knew an absolutely unrepentant child would become so beloved? <laughs> Where's that kid now, do you think? Prison. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steven, bing that for us. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's figure it out. Get, get that binged, yo. All right, what do we got here? How much money we got? I like to get this repeatable yep. one. That's the first thing I did too. Okay. If I could purchase a way to get more experience, I'm there for that. 100%. Oh man, Microsoft Store, I'll hook you up, bro. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I don't know if you got to this point either. There was a <laughs> there's a place where it gets you to the story, and it's like, um, okay, hey, now now you have to like purchase the DLC. Oh really? In order to progress, you have to you have to purchase the DLC, and I was like. I mean, it's five bucks. I was like, all right, sure. Nope. I mean, I was four and a half hours into the game at this point. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm hooked. <laughs> you got me. I'll, I'll buy it. Yo, what's up? It wouldn't purchase it. It would not purchase it. What? It would like kind of, you know, it's like you're going to a coliseum and it wouldn't let you do it. If, it would back out and go, oh, no entrance here. If the game did that on purpose just to like kind of troll you, Huh? I wouldn't be surprised with this game. Like this is with this that game? kind of game, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Steve Ridley says he works for a music management company now, but has a few run-ins with the law. Binged it, man. Bing, I I am impressed that you are navigating that uh, that danger zone of being. Well, and hey, man, that Stephen, that is that's uh, that's your benefit right there. You can pocket all those points. Yeah, good work, man. Maybe in. Yeah, another another two million bings, and you'll get uh, three months free of Xbox Live. <laughs> Wait, is that a real thing that Bing does? That you can like, yeah. look things every time you look things up, you get points that you can redeem in a Microsoft store. Yes, that is the most uh, desperate ploy for hey, users. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's only stupid if it doesn't work, right? You know. <laughs> All right, let's but do this. Who is it? There's like a. Uh, you know, one of our friends, Justin, he, I don't think he's paid for Xbox Live in like, I don't know, forever. Because he just bings things all the time. Really? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> we got this poison thing going on that I'm a big fan of. Like we both got yeah. poison and it's, it's doing work. I'm not going to lie here. You have poison... Yeah. Your stuff is poison too? Yeah, it is. Your arrow's poison? Fact, my, my poison is stronger than your poison. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's all you right there. I'm going to let you <laughs> get those guys from Doom, whatever they're called. They're beholders is what it looks like. Be oh, D &D yeah. style, yeah. See, like, here's the thing, man, and we're about to get right into it with this OGL stuff, but, like, I, you, I've told you this before. D&D, &D, tabletop RPGs, I understand them. I love them. I respect them. They're not my jam. And yeah. so like I can, I can hold my own in some conversations. I feel like, uh, 
talking talking with you about it would be a conversation where I couldn't necessarily hold my own because you would get real deep real quick and be like, "Hey, man, I thought we knew what this was." Like, <laughs> I guess I just recently found out that they basically reneged the whole thing, and they're like, "Never mind, changed our minds." So yeah, which is they, good. They pretty much said OGL 1.0. Yeah, that's they're not going to touch that. Yeah. Which is fine because that's really all anybody cared about. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. At first, it was going to get real bonkers because essentially what they were trying to do was ensure that everybody came to them for business exclusively. And then with one D&D being a mostly online thing, it was just going to ruin D&D business at any uh, local game store. And then on top of that, it would also remove business from any like uh, local like uh, actual in person players. Oh, I did a die. I, I did a Oh dead. no. You died? Yeah. Don't 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 do that. Don't don't do a die. And he's back. Okay, cool. I cannot believe I stayed alive in that. <laughs> There's so many 56 HP over here. No, I'm dead. We're I good. did a die We're good. too. It's fine. It's fine. Ow. Ow. Knife, all knives, kinds of health. knives hurt. Two. One. We got this. All right. Dude, it's yes. like, it's did, hard to level up with this rat thing. right now. Yes, it's hard to level. Oh, they're back? Come on. It's your nonsense. All right, poison and then get behind something. That's my, that's my strat <laughs> right now. Get poisoned. There. Get uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, please. All right. But yeah, they're... Uh, taking stuff from local game stores and communities and whatnot was going to be rough. But then on top of that, anybody who doesn't want to use one D and D was just going to not give them money ever again. Like it was, which kind of was okay with a lot of people because right. I mean, what was crazy was uh D and D was saying, um, we want to own all your content yeah, and we want you to pay for the content of ours that you use. And I think I, I mentioned this yesterday um, on stream. I was like, I honestly, if, if some of our people, if if Dungeons and Dragons came to them and said, hey, we, we want to turn your thing into an official D&D, &D, um, you know, campaign, uh, they would, they'd poop my pants, man. They'd be very excited about that. Yes, but if somebody would come to me for that, I would say, cool, what's my cut? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I hope they would too. It's all about the also. bottom line. Uh, I am a, a huge advocate of, uh, <laughs> yeah, they poop my pants is a good line. Uh, Absolutely. Huge advocate of artists getting paid for their art. You know, like the the yeah. whole like we pay you an exposure thing is the worst. Like yeah. ex exposure does not put food on the table. It does not pay me for the time that it took for me to write this story that you are wanting to monetize now. It's, it's perpetuated intern mentality is what yes. it is. And so, you know, when you, when you care about people and you value them, um, you do things that shows that right. when you don't, then, you know, your entire play base, you know, revolts and you lose what well, it was over, over a million. Yeah. Users um, on one D and D beyond subscriptions. Yeah. It was a bonkers amount. <clears throat> I think we hit mine too. Uh, oh yeah. We leveled up. Yay. Yeah. I'm going to try and get all these. I wish there was a, like. Yeah, it won't let me fast forward. I know. Like, I get it. Yeah, I know what's going on. Okay, thank you. In their defense, it takes, like, two seconds. But when you put it all together, it's oh, gosh. 30 seconds. And right? that's more time than I want to spend. What am I doing here? Restore more health. Okay, I, I can do that. You got it, boss. All right. Did I get my special? I did get my special. Nice. Okay, good. Finally, let's me just go, yeah! Just unload on some of these things. Dude. That's a very effective uh, way to kill things. <laughs> when it's... Just... <laughs> when you have the mana for it, and when it's like a large group of them, yes. It is highly effective. Get chomped. My Get guy. chomped. Alright. Okay, hang on, because... I, I wanted to to get that level specifically just so I can say I did it. This is the guy hey, that I, this is the guy that I actually like using go. right here. This is my dude right here. You can just stand there and swing. Just hold the A button and he swings. And uh, did you notice that when he does that, he's he's just spinning his uh, blade around his belt? 
Oh no! <laughs> uh, he's not even. That's a fun animation. He's like I'm his arm this. is barely doing like a little like flick, and that's it. Like, yeah, yeah it's practically a hula hoop at that point. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, boss fight. Much like the fabled Donkey Kong, it is on. See, you can just stand there and hold the A button. <laughs> Uh, and yours has sharpen on it, right? Or is that the next level? That's the next level, yeah. So there's like weaknesses and stuff to all these enemies. And when when it gets down to it, you have to... There you go. Now you got sword slash too. Nice. Um, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, beans. Oh, no. Ah, beans. Oh, oh no. no oh, don't oh, try no. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's a uh, a new TCG called uh, Flesh and Blood. I say new; it's like two or three years old. But uh, one of my stores that I work at is like real big on it. And uh, there's one card called Stony Wootenhog, and for whatever okay. reason, saying Stony Wootenhog with that like uh, uh, Michigan accent is the <laughs> Stony, Stony Wootenhog. Wootenhog. You know, you go out there and you gotta be be careful for the Stony <laughs> Wootenhogs. You know, they'll, they'll sneak right up on you. Saw one oh, eating a moose the other day. <laughs> we were watching something on uh, on uh, TikTok or Instagram Reels. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Right. Um, and it was Midwesterners uh, and Southerners and how they – because it's like cold. It's It's 31 degrees outside, and I'm not kidding you. School is canceled today and tomorrow. It's Wait, 31 it's degrees outside. 31 degrees? Here's the thing. I think what they're thinking is that it's like, oh, well, what if it ices? What if it does this? Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, no, I, I get that. But what if what if aliens invade today? <laughs> like, what if, you know? Rock One, welcome, man. Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, if you don't know hey. me, my name is Steve. <laughs> I'm from Save Point Ministries. Our goal is to highlight churches, uh, nerdy churches, so that nerds in the area can plug in to a community that – like loves nerds and is into it. So welcome to the stream, man. Didn't Suck even think up, about the aliens. Yeah. This is, this is, so this is my boy rocket here. Um, and so the one is an I rocket. Oh, rocket. And oh, that's a T. I see it now. Rocket. Got, he, got it. Dude, he's, he's awesome. And he lives, he lives up near you actually. Oh, for um, real? Yeah. In the, the Pacific Northwest up there. I'm an Oregon rocket. Come yeah, game, come game with me sometime, dude. Uh, what do you want to buy? Um, the first thing I did was uh, the – oh, wait, here. You pick. I just realized I left the music on also. You guys are all going to get to see my desktop real quick while I close the Twitch soundtrack. Oh, no. Why is it – it's having a seizure. Oh, you're dead. My computer, man. What is going on with my computer today? I had to reboot it, chat, like 10 minutes before the stream – it was crazy. My bro and I uh, may come to visit you sometime. I think you've talked to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, Live No Hood River. For sure, man. Um, farm blog. Yes, farm blog. Yeah, dude. No, That's I'd love brother. to see you guys. Come on out. Um, Harvest Christian Church in Troutdale, Oregon. Come in and ask for Steve. I may be in the live stream room uh, balancing the sound and making sure everything sounds good. But uh, I also come out uh, to the Hood River area occasionally as well there's good wine tasting out there but i'm a christian right, so right, i've right. never tasted wine before so yeah same right or you're the best christian you can decide yeah yeah whatever <laughs> eat it man this guy i uh, like to I me our attack he's the best oh good call good call he's the best starting class at least that, that i've figured so far because this guy again you just stand there and swing your sword and everything comes to you and it's like they don't do anything to you. Well, and he, he has basically what would amount to like rend or cleave. Right. You know, he, he can attack multiple people at once. Oh, rich. Oh, man. Rich and full. So I really much like, food. I really like that it it just drops <laughs> random stuff. Like it's like, here's a gem. Here's a dollar. Here's a, right, a right. coin. <laughs> you guys do hood rat things at Hood River? Man, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Steven. When I first visited Oregon with a friend years and years and years ago, 
I found out that there was a mountain called Mount Hood. Now, let me be clear. I grew up in, uh, <clears throat> in like, Chandler, Arizona, which is a small town, but I was born in Tucson, Arizona, which is kind of... Uh, Not as small a town. Uh, 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 underprivileged, you know, definite inner city type town. And uh, when I saw that there was a Mount Hood... It was the funniest thing, man. <laughs> and then, of course, everything around there was named, whether it's Hood River or uh, Mount Hood Theaters is a place here. Like, everything. I'm like, going to Hood, yo. <laughs> Getting up in that hood. <laughs> Dude, That's I it. love yeah, it. Just go do Hood Rat stuff. Go do Hood Rat That's stuff. <laughs> uh, we're not ready for this. this no, level 20. level 20. What are you, Bubba? This is, you are hosting right now. Where are you taking us? Oh, man, we're going on a. Going on a trip. <laughs> and our favorite rocket ship. Ooh, there's another cave. Nice. Not caves. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Who? Literally How dare that. you? How dare you, you are. sir? As the knight, as the guard, you also have this stomp that, like, sends out this huge shockwave that hurts everybody around you, and it's good stuff. Yes, sir. All right. Bling, bling, bling. Money, money. I'm, I'm really, really glad that all of these treasure chests are also ice chests because, uh, oh, nice. Good find. Because all oh, that yeah. food would be rotten otherwise. So <laughs> it's really kind of them to pack in ice and uh, and all the food and whatnot. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Fine. Hey, I don't. I, at least I don't have to see that when you're trying to change what you are. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I don't see. I can see that you're you're changing using my hotkey. Like, yeah, like you don't see that, do you? No. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Good for them. I I found out too late that there was a hotkey to be able to switch. I kept pausing the menu and going through, and I'm like, this is this is cumbersome design, guys. And Are then you it, playing on a controller? Yeah. <laughs> Are you playing on a keyboard? No, 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 okay. no. I'm playing on controller. Yeah, and so. It, this is oh this is the horse dungeon horse mine yes uh, it's pony time it's pony time indeed look at these carrots guys they have to mine the carrots yeah it's it's hilarious this is this is good game let's just it's be real fantastic this is good game ow 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 i shouldn't just be walking through that get chomped my guy <laughs> okay wait can i nope i can't reach that far wow That guy's got some magic, huh? He wishes. Who do you <laughs> think you are? Who do you Chomp. think you are? Chomp. Get back here. Don't run from me, young man. Coward. <laughs> Ow. Got him. Easy. Easy. Easy game for babies. <laughs> i absolutely died one time in this game um when i played yesterday uh solo and i don't remember where it was it was in a dungeon oh it was a boss fight i died in a boss fight hmm. that's what it was well i've absolutely died twice in this game now so <laughs> well hey listen it's not a competition but if it was, if it was be I, I would, yeah, yeah i'd be winning for sure. <laughs> pop 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 Man, the noise that those things make when they spit their eyeball at you. Oh yeah. Is uh, like you yeah, you can hear the pop and like some juiciness afterward. It is a Blech. visceral sound. <laughs> 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 All right. Get the stuff. Get all the stuff. There we go. Nope, that's the back of the stairs. Uh, did we we came up the stairs? We did. Or down or whatever. We we went through those stairs. We went through the stairs. Yeah. Stairs got got. Stairs done got got, yo. Dude, real talk. This mouse. Get this wrecked. El Arata is doing some work. Yeah, man. You're crushing it over there. Restore more mm -hmm. health with consume. Yeah, there you go, man. Leveling up. All right. I should probably be looking at what my uh, quests are. Ah, you find one. <laughs> All right, I, I think you can drive. Oh, not right now. Okay, now I can. So let's see. Uh, regenerate mana with sword slash. Uh, three three baddies at once. Kill them with the. Oh, right. I gotta get hurt for no, the attack. Got you. Don't worry. I... Cool. 
and then uh, stomp baddies. Oh, right, I got to use my stomp more often. We're good. Oh, I can just do that. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Cool. We're good. Left bumper will let me see that without having to go to the menu. Yes, anybody was wondering. Oh, did you not know that? Yeah, no, I was today years old. Ah, nice. Congratulations. Glad, glad to. But you have to go to the menu to, to like, clear the quest. Is that right? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay, that's that's goofy. <laughs> They let you look at it, but not interact uh, with it. Look, but don't touch. Like, That's what it is. Look from behind yeah. the glass. Rocket, Bubba and I were talking about how both he and I just dipped into the game yesterday just to test it out. You know, like we knew we were going to be playing to get, uh, today. And uh, then we both, he played for six hours. I played for like two and a half, but yeah. it is a good it's game. It's not my fault. Not my yeah. fault. Yeah, no. Uh, I've been in Troutdale f since 2008. So almost, it'll be 15 years in August of this year. Uh, I'm an Arizona boy, though. Grew up in, in Arizona. Went to college in Southern California. Oh, dude. Rocket. A real American dream. I am about that food cart place. Bubba came to visit me once. And, uh, <gasps> yes. He went to that food. I, I took him to that food cart place. I was... Loved it. I remember little of it because I was deep in the throes of COVID, we found out later. But... <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. I felt like yeah. hot garbage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you didn't look great either. Man. Yeah, but that's just me. All right. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, let's kill let's this. Let's do thing. this. Yeah. These things. I'm sorry. Let's do a murder. Ooh, Get right. murdered. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Can anything stop us, Bubba? I submit that it cannot. I submit that it cannot, Mr. Regan. There we go. Oh, you bet get right. yeah this guy is over here staring at us what are you doing having a bad day that guy that noise that noise are those teeth or, or what teeth Minor teeth yeah oh yeah the on the yeah. yeah it's my my rat it's biting it's chumpy chump yep he's got a chump good work get wrecked I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. I know. He just shows up and then stands there. Terrible idea, my guy. Terrible idea. <laughs> Their teeth. They are not a butt. <laughs> or a butt. Hey, man, if that's a butt, that's the dirtiest butt I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't like that it clamps. Like, why Why would it do that? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a, it's an angry butt. That's what it is. Hey, hey, Rocket, if your butt bites, go see a doctor. Can you yeah. please do me that Cons favor? <laughs> consult your physician. <laughs> All right. I guess it kind of does ish look like a butt. Uh, two of them. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe. Yeah. I will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I will. <laughs> I don't mind if I do, actually. <laughs> when in Rome. All right. While we're looking for the next level, Bubba, let's uh, t tell me a little bit about, let's start with uh, First Baptist. Thought that was the norm. I thought everybody did that. Tell me about First Baptist Marble Falls, man. What kind of ministry you guys, ministries you guys have? What do you guys got going on there? Man, there is a ton of stuff that's going on at that church. And it's, it would seemingly like, it would feel like too much. A lot of times the, the, the church kind of gets a bad rap. Um, and I say, I mean that in like the most playful way possible right? because they're like, oh, you guys are overstaffed. Um, we, I, I was on staff at that church for eight years and we heard that all the time. Yeah. And it was just like, no, we're really not though. Like yeah. if you look at even half of the things that we're doing, we're probably understaffed as it is. You know, we have a lot of people doing a lot of different things when we could do less. Um, but it's it's all about being effective. It's all about yeah, absolutely. you know, not just not just being the best and doing the really cool things, but it's what does the community actually need. And so, in an effort, we don't have enough yet. Um, in an effort to to try and and reach out to more more of the community, our church actually is in the process right now of building a mission center for our area. And it's going to house counseling ministries. It's going to yeah, awesome. house food bank stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just, it legitimately is, hey, what does, uh, what does our community need? And in looking at that, being able to meet those needs in one, you know, 
kind of convenient location where our church is, it's up on a hill. And so um, sometimes it's just a long drive, um, you know, for some people, or it is a drive for people who can't drive mm -hmm. and need assistance. And so finding, finding a way and finding a place um, for people to be able to get help in their own neighborhood, you know? Yeah. Um, actually, our mission center is uh, right next to one of our disc golf courses here in town. Oh, nice. Pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Chat, if you don't know, I am a disc golf addict. I played for the first time like a year and a half ago and just was immediately hooked. Oh, we've been in here before. That's how that works. Well, we're I think we're farming for cash because we need we need fifteen stars and we only have thirteen. 13 right now, oh, so. and while also we could, uh, I need to regenerate mana and stomp baddies. We can find okay. like just groups of bad guys. Here, let's just go yeah, back yeah, in here. Let's say go go ahead in there. I tried turning in a rat <laughs> for a while so I could keep up with you, um, but I don't. Nah. I don't want to be the rat. I want to be. The guard. No, I think I think that the beauty of it is is like we're sharing progression, and so yeah, that is very nice. I like that the uh, the enemies also get hurt by the environment. Oh yeah, I genuinely appreciate that. That's a pet peeve of mine when you know enemies don't hurt each other. Now, in video games defense. Usually when you're playing co-op, you also don't hurt each other. So that's yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, let's not get caught up in all the facts, okay? Let's <laughs> just chill. There we go. There we go. All right. Get How that. How much money, money do we have? Oh fitty. Oh fitty. Four eighty. Four eighty. <laughs> and counting. No, but our our church is really great, man. I I honestly, you know, I, I tell people all the time, it's like, we could go other places. We could do other things. Um, it's not like we're the only church in town because we're just absolutely not. But I don't necessarily, I don't feel a, a real need. Um, let's go get that horse. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't I don't feel the, you know, the need or the call away from our church even though I'm not working there anymore and you can, you can, you know, uh, attest to this, that it doesn't, it doesn't matter if, if the body is, is healthy. Um, if the church is good, then. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I want to. Nope. Wrong one. I see what you don't get. There it is. All right, let's go. You know, if, if the church body's healthy and if the, if the people are good and you know, if everything is going the way that it should be going, then you know there's really no reason for people to to just leave because they're not working at the church anymore like if, right. if the only reason you were in the in the church is because you were working there um you, you probably weren't doing super effective ministry exactly because it was self-centered to begin with and so um yeah so it's it's just one of those things where our church i feel like is is uniquely positioned in our community not because we've been here since 1888 <laughs> um, I feel like that kind of stuff is just like, it's just, it's interesting, you know, points of fact. But I think that, you know, really listening, you know, tuning to, to what your people are needing. Right. And not just saying, hey, these are the things that we offer because these are the things that we offer. Saying, hey, we're actually looking to, Ow. you're dead. Yep. Uh, we're looking to hire. Um, why are we looking to hire? Who are we looking to bring on? Um, is it just because we need more staff to make us look better? Or is it because we're actually trying to accomplish this goal or reach this people group or, you know, whatever? It's weird to me that people often have these expectations of what a church should do. And they, they want the church to be effective. But when the church hires people or pays people to do events that aren't yeah. what they expect... Then they're like, well, hold on. Not that, though. It's like, wait. Hold, yeah, you... we want you to do it, but for free, though. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> if you love the Lord, then you'll just do it for free. And it's like, I have a, I have a lot of things to say about that. Um, and I think that stuff, re that kind of reasoning is what has led to um, kind of 
Christian culture being in the spot where it is, where mm. like we have a phrase that is uh, Christian good, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like, you know, good enough for government work um, oh is gosh. a phrase that's out there. Yeah. And we have our Christian equivalent of that. And so I, I'm not a big fan of that. I want it to be great. I want, I want this to be something that the Lord is pleased with, not that he has to deal with. Right. You know? And so we bring a lot of that excellence into, into love thy nerd with the stuff is. that we do. But, uh, in as much as it pertains to our church, like that's, that's one of the big things that we do is that we're, we're missions minded. And that's such a pretentious thing to say because, <laughs> you know, it's, Churches, churches are mission mission minded in general. It's just always a question of what is the mission, or at least um, they should be. Yeah, absolutely. What is what is the thing that they are that is of the utmost importance to them, right? Right, exactly that. But what what is because because different churches are going to have to serve the community in different ways, and sometimes that's going to look different than what people expect from a church. You know. Yes. Yeah. So like when we said, Hey, you know, I've, I've got this idea, this thing that I'm trying to do with, with nerd culture ministry. And they were like, at the beginning, they were like, I don't think that that's super important. Um, we, we actually, uh, we even had a, uh, we even, we even had a, um, what was it? Like a, it was like a, like a seminar, like a one-off conference or something like that. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna no. I want to talk to him and I'm gonna read it. Then, then oh, you, you want to read? It? Okay. Ready? Ready? Because no, this you, is you go, you go ahead. I'll, I'll come back. This to is it. beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. Ready? <clears throat> now this is a horse. Your horsey eyes have never beheld such beauty. Nervously, you distract yourself by eating some grass, but the majestic stud has the same idea. Mm. As you dip your heads, your moist noses touch. You raise your eyes to meet his, and the feeling is electricity this is the horse you've been waiting for the stallion you've dreamed of your whole horsey life of all <laughs> the strange feelings that come with being a horse the one feeling you never expected was love <laughs> too much rocket says too close, much Stephen i Ridley. close my eyes and i'm there <laughs> Here. Instantly transported. Yeah, instantly. instantly. Transported. It's beautiful, right? It's it's wonderful. Oh my goodness, that's all I wanted to be the horse for was so we could have that moment. There's one more. My voice transport. Thank you, Stephen. I uh, have my degree in preaching. You know, a lot of storytelling. So this is this is what I got my degree for to read. It's mainly horse, horse love stories. stories. Yeah, for being real. Yeah. You lay your head across the stallion's muscled back. In his embrace, <laughs> the world's troubles almost disappear. You want to stay forever, but that can't happen until your work is done. He nickers a gentle goodbye. He'll wait for you as long as it takes. <laughs> <laughs> your day is complete now. You're welcome, Rocket. <laughs> I did. I didn't watch that twice. Like I, did, I didn't listen to him talk twice. So that's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, take that, Last of Us episode three. Yeah. <laughs> Eat your heart out. <laughs> You thought I you told a beautiful love story. What is this? I haven't found out what to do here. I think you have to turn into a bird and like lay an egg there or that something. That would make sense. Okay. There's a couple Oop. of those around. Okay. You know what? There. Yeah. There's no need. Just call spade a spade. <laughs> I am a guard. That's who I am in life. None uh, shall pass. Man. Oh. Oh, okay. I remember now. Uh, you have to mm, turn it to a horse, and then it'll let us pass on the other side. For real? I think that's what it was. All right. Let's make it happen. Oh, wait. First, let's kill these guys. First murder. Yeah. Well, always, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I keep the main thing the main thing. You know, I told you that. Thanks for the work, Steven. Glad you're here, man. Later, Steven. Oh, we got a switch here. Oh, yeah, we're over here now. I see, I see. Is the map the same? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. So when you go into dungeons... That's when it randomizes? It's, it's dynamic, yeah. There it is. Okay, got it, got it's it. Generated. Uh, We could go. We could do this. Yeah. I'm going. 
hey, I cut you off to read a horse love story. Do you remember what you were saying? I was actually just thinking about what I was saying. And I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to walk it back. Something about a horse. Horse yeah. love stories get real distracting, you know. Um, we were talking about like Christian good and right. quality and all oh, sorts man. of stuff. I have a lot to say about Christian good, like what like Christian art ends up becoming. And yeah, I have yeah. a lot to say about that. <laughs> I, I feel like Christian art often becomes very derivative and not creative and therefore does not reflect our creator. And yeah, I would say derivative at best, just <laughs> bad, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's like all of the, um, uh, all of the, the, the flack that like mid journey and AI is, is taken right now for, you know, not being creative and taking other people's work. I was like, that's what we've been doing in the church for a very <laughs> long time, man. Like, hey, what was that saying? About attacks? Oh, this, oh. It, it's just saying you, you have to, you have to break. How do you break you have to it? break the type. So that one, watch, you'll see this. This oh, one has got it. green slashies. You have to hit it with that first, which is you. Yep. And then you can do damage got to it. it. Okay, cool. Oh, this is good. Teamwork makes the dream work. Got it, got it, got Absolutely. it. But you can also, now, if you push uh, the back button, um, I don't know what it's called on an Xbox controller. B? But if you... No, oh, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. This button here. Okay. Then you can go over one, and you can actually, um, you should be able to, to choose your abilities. So if you... Like this? Yeah. Can okay. you push A? What does that do? Nothing. Nothing. What about the X one? Nope. Not yet. Okay. There comes a time where you can actually, uh, you can change what your abilities are. Got it. Based on what you've unlocked. It wants you to hold RB, Bubba. There we go. All right. Let's make it happen. I'm gonna be... Oh, no. I didn't mean to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That is a pig. Yeah, yeah. That's it's a, a mama pig. A big, a big piggy boy right there. So, what are the locks? How come my abilities are locked up there? What is that saying? Oh, it was leveling up locked. Is that what it's saying? Yeah. So we're in we're in this area, and you can see right. all the the goop on it. This is the calamity, and when we're in an area where the calamity is, um, our progression is locked. Oh, that's garbage. Yeah, like class level progression is locked. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's kill everything then. Of course, that would have been my answer anyway. So, <laughs> well, even even if we kill all the stuff here, it's it's still not because this area is locked. With oh, the so always it is. Oh, that's that's terrible. I guess I'm probably until until we beat it. Yeah, until okay, we've like you know gotten the scourge out. There, there. All right, get him. Jump. Yeah, so I can. Oh no! I can make things poisonous, and you can slice and dice. No, you can poison things because you are venomous. You can't make oh. something poisonous. No, it's done. I made it poisonous. <laughs> I heard the best description of that a while back. That was, if you bite it and you die then it's poisonous. If it bites <laughs> you and you die, then it's venomous. <laughs> it's ven Oh, hey, that's really good, actually. Yeah, it is. Oh, I was not paying attention to my health. I, I need those stupid things um, in my life. And yeah. it's, it's a lot like, uh, you know, the difference between good and well. Mm. Like, Superman does good, you're doing well. <laughs> you need to look up your grammar, son. Like, that, that really legitimately helps me a ton. Just to think about that kind of stuff. That's good. I mean, yeah. whatever helps. Yeah, absolutely. And it does. I. But what's really fun is when you try and say that to other people and they're like, just shut your mouth. <laughs> you know? Don't act like you're smart. I am a grammar nerd and I used to be that guy that would like correct people's grammar and whatnot. Then I read a book called Word by Word by Corey Stamper. She's what's called a lexicographer, meaning she, ah, yes. she uh, helps create dictionaries and uh and basically this whole book is about how the english language is a nightmare and 
that it, it defines itself differently every year because yes they they don't uh dictionaries don't define words they list definitions that are created by just culture in general and so people get all mad because you know they'll add a, a word you know yeet to the dictionary and it's like <laughs> yeah. we, we we didn't make yeet a word you made yeet a word we we yeah. just defined it that's all and so but it really helped open my eyes to the all that grammar you're correcting it's gonna not be grammar in like 10 years just just let it go it's gonna be fine <laughs> Yeah, I had a uh, a friend of ours at a previous church. He's a linguist, and mm. he would say the same thing. I was like, "Hey, man, what's the, what's the proper way to say this? What's the what's the correct definition for this?" And he goes, "It the answer is going to make you really mad." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, "What is it?" And he goes, "The answer is whatever the the consensus is in that space at that time." Yep. Like it, language is so fluid that you know, think about it right now. Um, when we say something is is cool, it's it it doesn't mean that it's like frigid. Right. It means that, that it's it's, it's really temperature. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. It's enjoyable. You know, it's and even that, that, is, that word awesome, awesome. It doesn't mean that it's yeah. full of awe. It means we enjoy it a lot. Like exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like the word terrific used to be a bad thing. Yes, a terrifying. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you know all these these words and, you know, redef redefining of terms and stuff like that. That's, it's not new. Yeah. It's just not. Um, so we have those conversations, Wait. you know, within the Christian community sometimes. Um, and they're like, well, we're, you know, reclaiming X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, I doesn't, I don't care. Like, it's just, <laughs> I mean, you're going to waste your time and your energy and your effort. And you're going to get really mad and <laughs> let's, just, let's just not. That's cool with everybody, which it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Man, the hills that we Christians will die on sometimes. Dude, we we started using a phrase like, "Is this this isn't a hill I'm I'm willing to die on, let alone uh, this isn't a hill I'm willing to get wounded on, let alone die on." Hmm. Like, That's good. Yeah, I don't I like that. I don't want this to be any kind of a thing for myself or for anybody. Right. And it just makes us odious, and so for real. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! Yep. I didn't even see him. He was hiding. That's one thing that I'm pretty shocked that has not become an issue yet at all with Save Point is we are what I've begun to call a denominational instead of non-denominational where okay. no, as long as like Christ is your core, we're willing to host any denomination, any sort of like, uh, you know, b belief, Christian belief will we'll, sure. we'll host your church or whatever. And most people are fine with that. I was expecting somebody out there to be like, "Ooh, you you are okay with Calvinists?" That's uh, ooh, Bro, may, maybe not. You know, so yeah. Give it time. Yeah, give it time. <laughs> It'll happen. <laughs> it's. I, I mean, I I I fancy myself an optimist, but I'm also a realist. I yeah. wouldn't say pessimist. I mean, I, I'm I'm a realist. Like, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Like that's. So it's just the price to do an avarice, man. Uh, the price of avarice, right? Like, yeah. if you're if you're trying to do something great, somebody will find a way to ruin it. Like, it's the law of averages. The way that you I can't make everybody happy all the time. The way that I describe it to people is, I say, if I I cannot consider myself the arbiter of what is and is not Christian, that's not my job, and so is that your job then? Like, is that, yeah. <laughs> dude, do you That'd think be very you can, helpful? you can hold that title over there? Because if, wow. if I can, if I can just call you when yeah, I need exactly. that question answered, <laughs> that'd be great. I was doing an interview, um, a couple weeks ago. And one of the questions that the guy asked me was, um, how many people have been saved through love thy nerd? And I yeah. was like, I don't even know how to begin to answer that question, right. man. Like, <laughs> how many people have been saved through your church? Like, are you just, are you just asking how many people have said that they are? Right. Like, is that what we're, you know, are, are we talking about changed lives? To find that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is, what's the criteria here? Um, it's like, okay, well, how many people have you led through the sinner's prayer? And I was like, oh, well, I can, I can answer that. It's zero. Like, that's not, <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah. You know? That's not a thing for us. Yeah, we don't we don't do the Roman road. We don't do that stuff. Like we're here to to bridge the gap, and 
you know, to kind of mend church hurt and be the, the hands and feet of Jesus. And what Jesus did was Jesus spent time with people. He loved them well. He called them out of, you know, the muck that they were in um, to greater things and unto himself. And so that's what we're trying to do, you know, like yeah, probably failing miserably at it, right? But <laughs> I think that's a product of like the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, maybe even just like Cold War era Christianity in America <laughs> is... Uh, yeah, that's that, a really good way to put that. Yeah. Is that so much of what we do, people thought that it has to be we are actively saying, do you believe in Jesus? Because here's who Jesus is. Yeah. And then they say, now I believe, let me confess and be baptized. And that is our measurement of success. But when you think about it, he Jesus did that with like Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. And that's about it off the top of my head. And other than that, he just spent time with people and was an example of, of what God wants the kingdom to be like. And mm -hmm. then people naturally just wanted to know more and naturally became more like him through it. And uh, I, I feel like we've kind of forgotten that. Yeah. I, I think that we, as the church are, are big fans of uh, one size fits all. Yeah. Big fans. Well, and we, give me the cookie cutter approach. You know, what's 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 something that I can do that is easily, you know, replicable, and that everybody has to to do. <laughs> you know, like, and we desperately any, any kind feel of like we need measurement. Like, if we're gonna feel like we're succeeding, I need to be able to say, I've led thirty people through the sinner's prayer, or baptized twenty people, or whatever else, instead of just Absolutely. saying, Have I been successful? I don't know. I I've acted. My, I've done my best to be Christ-like to those around me. It's hard to measure that, but... <laughs> yeah, and I, I try and help people understand that, like, this is a personal philosophy of mine, and it carries over into LTN, is that we we deal in the intangibles more than the tangibles. Right. You know, it's it's a qualitative, not quantitative. And so it, it doesn't mean that we're, n we're just not going to try and reach people, and we're not going to tell as many people as we can about Jesus. That's not what it is, but... In our experience, it's just it's far more effective to have a relationship with somebody because if all I'm if all I'm worried about is just getting to you know tell as many people as possible the heavy air quotes full gospel right then what am I what am I missing out on what am I losing out on I'm losing out on that relationship I'm losing out on the ability to to you know build that relationship and go through hard times with them. Um, and everything that comes with that, I'm losing out on all of that because they're going to come to a point where they have to say like, hey, I don't understand this thing that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, and, you know, even if you think of like like the most short term mission trip that's ever existed, which was Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch, right? Like <laughs> he was just there. He was there for a very short amount of time. And then Philip literally like teleported away when his job was done. Right. Even even in that moment, like when he walks up to the eunuch, he's like, do you know what you're reading? He's reading out of the scroll of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, how, how am I going to know unless somebody tells me? Like in that moment, Philip needed to be there to help to open up those, those channels of communication between that person and God. Not necessarily just Philip and the eunuch. It was how is this person going to come to know uh, Jesus or, you know, honestly at that point, just flat out capital G God. Right. How is that person going to come to a more deeper understanding of the God of the universe, unless they know what the heck they're talking about. And so it just, it, it has that, that relational aspect um, that I think that we, we miss so much when we're just worried about telling people how wrong they are. Um, and we're not really concerned a whole lot with doing the hard thing. Yeah. Spending time with people when it is difficult. Um, so I don't know, man, it's, it's an interesting thing to think about. Uh, absolutely. I mean, that point right there, a lot of people like to point to Philip and the eunuch, uh, the Ethiopian. Uh, I don't like categorizing him by his physical status there, but as the Ethiopian. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's um, a good point. Yeah. 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 Uh, that the two of the, a lot of people have to look at that and say, 
Philip went to him and actively, like a stranger, and actively shared the gospel with him. And that is true, but he did it because it was a point in which this man was asking to hear the gospel. It wasn't something where he just walked up to a stranger and wanted to tell him about Jesus. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying don't do that. What I'm saying is Philip was there for this man when he needed to hear about Jesus Mm -hmm. The way that we can be there for people when they need, when they have that moment is by being a part of their life, by being a part of their community. Again, so much of like the nineties of the way that the gospel was preached was this almost like make friends so you can share the gospel with them. And all of a sudden those friends are goals. They're not friends anymore. And that's not, that that's not how that should be. Like community should be loving the person for who they are. And then sharing the gospel with them. I need more people to know that and think about that. Hmm. We have a, there's another quest up here, but this guy's just going to swat us. And so, okay, cool. Yeah. Whatever we need um, to do, mean there, there is a, there's a way of thinking about things that I think is super important. Um, And it is that when we say this to people all the time, that people are people, they are not projects. Yes. And so it's it's important that we don't treat them like those projects. Um, Why don't you spend a bunch of money for us? Hey there, Vermin. Um, What do we need? Dang, we got a lot of money. We got a lot of money. That's why I was like, <laughs> we should spend some of this. What do these upgrade tokens do? Like, I don't know. Oh, oh go, go, go back. Here, I'll show you what they do. So upgrade tokens, wrong button. Uh, you use them here to level up your uh, your stuff. So, like, oh. you know, here, I just leveled up that. And we ha- how many upgrade tokens do we have right now? 26. 26. We, we got a lot of them. So we could probably just, because this, yeah, uh, this is across the board, you said, right? This is for both of us? Yeah, it's upgrading for me, too. So. Yeah, so let's make sure that we, we, we level your rat up, level my dude up, and then might as well just keep going because we have the stuff. Oh my gosh, we have so many. When I go back to play my old save, the the other one that I have, there we it's go. gonna be stupid. It's gonna be stupid. Cool. So we don't need I've coins. Buying, I haven't bought them. You haven't even okay. done that stuff yet. <laughs> no, I just have. I probably have a hundred of them just sitting there. <laughs> well, um, you've been you doing well, man. You haven't upgraded your abilities at all, and you've been you've no, uh, I just been yeah, well just done. running through it. <laughs> You know, you didn't have to point out that I've been dying before you bought that, but no, hey, don't worry, I got you, I got you. Uh, Let's see here. We need to go. Oh, okay. Let's let's go over here. Not a Tomb Raider. Yeah, let's make that happen. Oh, hang on. Let me just let me let me horse it up, and then we can go. There. There we go. You're so fast. Yeah. Actually, I've changed my mind already. I'm gonna rat it up. So number one will be the same speed, and number two, so I can be the upgraded character. Uh, but you do need to horse so that we can get through the gate. That's uh, right. where's the, where's the gate? Down uh, here? all the way to the other side, quite literally the no. opposite direction. No, no, no. This, the, the gate on this side of the, of oh, the world. Oh, I don't know. The one that you told me about was, uh, Southeast. I think it's the West gate that we can get through. West side, West gate, West gate, best gate. West gate, best gate. Oh, it's, yeah, I think it's down here. Oh my guy. I grew yeah, up. so I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. I was, I I was going to do a total uh, subject change. You were going to say yes. I, love I mean, it. so, okay. I was going to say that I grew up in an area, uh, well, grew up. I spent a y- few years in an I area in which it was wise to know the gang signs and just kind of things to say and whatnot. And, uh, it's it's funny to me to go back and say things like West Side, Best Side and not have to take a look around and make sure I didn't just offend anybody <laughs> severely, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. Through the wall. Yeah, it works. Uh, see, what am I even doing? We're fighting and I'm trying to be a rat. I'm not a rat. I'm a guard. You're a guard. That's the whole point. Ow. Dude, I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna. Are you gonna horse it up for a while? I think I'm gonna horse it up because. Make it happen. Well, how close? I'm almost B, and then I can go to egg. 
Ooh. Well, the, obviously, the, look, the egg has a nest in the middle of it. Yeah, let's just let's just hold here because I haven't done that yet. So. All right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, while oh, we're murdering man. stuff, Bubba, tell us about LTN. We talked a lot about ministry and like how you and I view ministry, and obviously we have very similar ideas of ministry. How did I just die? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're dead again. <laughs> no, no, maybe <laughs> what? Look, I'm also trying to host an interview right now, and so I'm yeah. focusing on other things. Normally, I'd be very, very good though. Get that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I'm usually the best. <laughs> yeah, I did I'm a speed best. run on this game. Oh, oh. All right, that's a dead dragon. Let's do it. But Let's uh, do it. What is the most Oregonian thing I like doing? Rocket says, uh, "Disc golfing." I would say. I'd never even heard of disc golf. Oh, level 30. We I, don't need to be in here. No, we do not. Mm -hmm. Until I came to Oregon. Uh, other than that, um, being snobbish about like foods, like I, I do like really enjoy like wine tasting and like beer tasting and things like that. And, uh, and then just like a foodie, I'm a foodie in general. So it, it kind of being bougie about, about the things I consume. I'd say it's also you made me like we we drank tea while I was there oh, with you. Yeah, dude. And that was like an experience. Oh, yeah, it <laughs> yeah. is. I am a tea snob, big time tea snob. Yeah. Um, oh. Get him. Marty Joe. He needs he needs help. So we're yeah. going to help him. <laughs> um but uh when Bubba was here I had just gone to a place again. This is just how extreme I am. It was a place that sold honey and they had different types of honey, not because they flavored it differently, but because the bees specifically and exclusively fed on a certain type of flower. So it was gnarly. Uh, yeah. So I had one that was from radish flowers and one that was from pumpkin flowers and they tasted notably different uh, the, to the point that the radish one uh, I didn't put in my tea because it had a savory note to it, but I cooked with it. I cooked with it a lot and it was delicious. So yeah, it was weird. Anyway, uh, Rocket says, we have a couple of disc golf courses in Trout Lake. Come visit this summer sometime. Bubba, hey, you want to come yes. visit over the summer sometime? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, hey, I really enjoyed my time in Oregon. Hey, okay, this is weird that I'm going to do this on a live stream. Um, uh, the camp that you were the uh, the person at last <laughs> yeah. year, by the way. Yeah. Um, the the rest of the team said that they want you to come be the the uh, guest speaker. They said they're gonna they'd fly uh, you out if you want to come be our guest speaker for the week. Wow. Wow. Um, so yeah, think let's about, talk it. about it. Yeah, think about yeah, it. I don't, actually don't have anything on on the docket for the summer, and I think that that would be super dope. So. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Like that, I'm I'm very excited about that. Actually, <laughs> yeah. This year, I get to be the uh, the missionary, though. So. Oh, you're the missionary. I'm the missionary okay. this year. Yeah. Hey, I need your help. Oh, how the, how the turntables. <laughs> Man, I came to the office super late. I literally watched the the series for the first time when it came on Netflix like five years ago. Yeah, and um, it was 2018. It was five years ago, and I had just slipped a disc in my back and needed major surgery. But my insurance was like just wasting time and whatnot. So I had three months <laughs> where I was basically bedridden in pain. But I watched the entire series over the course of like a week. Well, oh, yeah. Well, consume like very, very um, drugged. Let's go with that. Like, I mean, just <laughs> extremely drugged on uh, coding, like Viking and whatnot. And hey, come on, you're fine. I fell in love with it so fast, and then later on, I I found myself talking to my wife like, "The show's so good, you got to watch it." There's like, there's like, man, I don't remember much of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this really funny moment of me realizing, oh man, like I don't remember a lot of it. And so we watched it a second time and it's very, very good. Dude, uh, I used to watch The Office. <laughs> Rocket, you coding or the show? Which one yeah. do you really like? The show. Nah, that's, a, that's a fair question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocket. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go this way. Don't worry about that. Cool. So going to the right there, I think that is 
Uh, hey, buy the DLC. I think that's that one. Uh, so you've completed everything that's not in the DLC? No. no oh, no, no. okay, okay, I see. It's just, you can go that way. Got it, got it. So why do they this want guy's... nobodies? What, men? So from what I have gathered from, here we go, I did it. Nice. Okay. Give me the thing. Detonate poison? What? Give me the thing. Give me the egg. There we go. Egg. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? You can do it. Egg roll. Egg roll. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good pun. Hardened shell. I'm gonna I'm I'm going for it. I believe in you. So all right. Maybe that's what I need to do is just become an egg and hunker down in the corner while you kill everything. Yeah, just, just egg it up? Yeah, and then just be like, and I, I helped. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I, I like the, the the little X on the back of the head. Yeah. I think it, it just makes the characters look extra dopey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's extra goofy. <laughs> it's for no reason at all, you know. It's... All right, now we're going to break out. Prison Break style. Nice. Oh, you ever watch that show, Prison Break? Oh, yeah. Did you like it? I liked it to a certain point, and I, I get that way with every show. Yeah. Like, oh, this is good up until now. I liked season right. one, and then literally season after like season egg. one, I'm like, "Any th this is Murphy's Law, the show. Anything that can go wrong does go wrong, and they have to deal with it in the moment. Like, it, it, it like." Everything went wrong so often that it became predictable. And I was like, that, he's, he's going to die. He's going to break his leg. Like, like, something's going to happen here. I know it. <laughs> okay. Being the egg was a bad idea. <laughs> did you die? It's, well, I almost did. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just, it, it's just six HP. You got this. Not ready. I believe I'm in dead. you. Yeah. Oh, I did believe in you. Now I'm on fire. Stay alive. Stay alive. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. There you go. Oh, don't breathe fire on oh, me. Oh, gosh. I was I stood right in it. Like an idiot. <laughs> he opened his mouth, and you're like, what's in there? You you got a big mouth. Let me peek in there. <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on in there? Man, I, I'm i now I'm thinking about it. I really, really, really enjoyed my time at Wainema. Like, Oh, I'm glad. It's just, it's just It was just such a fun place to be. Yeah. I sure really liked it. I'm glad. people. You made an impact on the people there, too. They want you to come back, so yeah. Well, okay. We'll see. I'll, I'll pray about it. Let's go. Right. Just say yes, Bubba. Don't talk to your wife. I, pray, well, I mean, I prayed about it before I came. Don't. Uh, yeah, just say, just say yes. Make it happen. Go tell your wife. Hey, by the way, I'm going to be gone for about a week and a half in uh, in August. Yeah. Anyway, bye. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I did last year. <laughs> she was like, "You're going to Oregon? When?" I was like, "Uh." In a month, Sweet I think. Fancy yeah. <laughs> Moses. I just got so much fire breathed on me. Hey, don't die. Oh, you're dead. You're all the way dead. That guy opened his mouth and I was like, hey, what you got going on in there? <laughs> That's a spicy meatball right there. I did it again. You did it again. <laughs> so the beauty is, is that you can be in the fire up until up until that thing fills up. Like mine was gray. And you don't, you don't get, ah, you know, it's okay. not negative, negative fire stuffs. Oh, I can't hurt them. Got it. Oh, okay. So, uh, push that back button again. The back button B? The, the, no, what is it? The little double square. Oh, the back button. Got it. Yep. Yeah. And then go over one and there you go. Now you can upgrade and change out your stuff. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Yeah. Rocket, you pay half of my ticket. I accept. <laughs> I mean, I I had to pay all of my ticket when I came last time. Okay, this. The one... But hey, if the camps fly me out, Rocket, don't worry about it, man. No, it's hey, Rocket. If you want to pay half the ticket, I'm sure the the people sure that are off. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be just <laughs> fine with you also paying a part of it. <laughs> hey, Rocket. Uh, Hit me up. Uh, go to the Save Point website and see if uh, there's my emails there. If not, it's Steve V at SavePointMinistries.com. Uh, come volunteer. Come volunteer at Wynema this year. And if Bubba's there, you get to say hi to Bubba too. Man, that would be really great if you could come. 
also I don't because, know what your schedule is we'll, like. Also, we'll also take as many volunteers as we can possibly get. So Yeah. You like middle schoolers or not? Bubba, you died again. No, get out of here. Bubba, you died again, Bubba. <laughs> Why am I bad at this game? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Got it. Nope. Wrong there one. You wrong go. one. Wrong yeah. one. I mean, it was there. cool what you did, but yeah. <laughs> I'm in a bed. I'm, I'm dead. Now no. I'm really dead for sure. One. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now it's on. Now it's on. Hey, are you? You got it. How much just stocks your wife? Are you guys, the two of you that live together and um, co-parent, are you going to go and are you guys going to see the Left Behind movie? The, the wait, what? That's a thing. Another one? Oh, yeah. Like a third oh, yeah. one? Uh, well, so it, it's the rise of the Antichrist, right? Oh, Naturally, yeah. and it's uh, it it is it's a continuation of Nicolas Cage's. Oh no! But as far as I know, Nick Cage is not in it. I think Nick Cage is now played by Kevin Sorbo. Oh boy! From what I understand, from what I understand, it's a banger, and so. <laughs> Uh, here's what I will say. Hang on. Uh, Steve, uh, not Steve, uh, Rocket says, I think only cows like me and my wife a little. Look, I'm trying to read <laughs> over here. <laughs> uh, ten movies later. Yeah. I don't know. Well, cow, you guys got cows. Oh, yeah, because you guys are out in the in the boonies there. So, yeah, you'd have cows. Uh, oh, they, they like, his story is really great. I worked, They're farmers. I worked like, at real a, farmers. a dairy for uh, a summer back when I was like 17 and had to, you know, uh, milk cows. Well, obviously it was all, uh, machine done. So I, AI, I would help, help milking. lead the cows into the milker and muck pens and whatnot. It was anyway, but, uh, as far as like movies like that go, I, uh, I, for the most part do not consume Christian content like christian made specifically content because i have found it to be universally not enjoyable to me yes. uh like I said, as, as gently as i've been trying to say this um, same you're not hurting my feelings like yeah I, well I but a, the people are gonna watch this later curiosity. too so oh yeah other yeah. people i remember other people from before <laughs> uh but to the extent that it is only recently that i have agreed to finally try the chosen. Oh, I, dude, the chosen's fire. That, that's what I hear. Everybody says it's so so good, but I have so much skepticism to all Christian based, like Christian made content that yes. uh, I, I haven't even given it a shot. So because of all the things we talked about earlier, exactly. man. Exactly. That Christian good and not really putting your all into it. Yeah, like. My favorite, what it's not Christian, but my favorite, like, movie that built my faith is Book of Eli. I, it's mine too. Dude, it's so good. Oh my gosh, that movie. Just the, uh, I mean, the power of I scripture. Care. I don't care who, what anybody that, says, that's that, a Christian movie. Yes. That's a Christian movie. 100%, whether or not they, the creator wanted it to be. That that line at the end where he says, "I've spent so long trying to get this thing to where it needed to be that I forgot to do what it says," and I'm like, "If yep. that is not just the life of so many Christians, oh my gosh, Bro. that movie." Uh, it's it's good. I mean, and you know what? I'm even willing to let it pass that it's it's just KJV. You know, like <laughs> preach, man. <laughs> I'm I'm legit one of those guys that's like yeah, I don't I don't really care, man. As yeah. long as you're not trying to like weaponize it, I just what helps you understand? Like what exactly that? What brings you to a deeper knowledge and understanding of Jesus? I used Is to it be, KJV. I don't care. I used to be like against the NLT or the message, the um, translation <laughs> by phrase. <laughs> yeah, and, but yeah. I, I've gotten to the point. Like I've met so many people that are like, it helps me understand the Bible. Is that? bad I'm like no it's not yes it is <laughs> terrible how dare you who do you think you are so yeah I've, I've definitely changed my perspective on that as well 
Knife Bro Rescue. Oh, that's who the guy we just saved. Got it. Yeah, I think I think that like, and this isn't a a horn toot or anything, but I think it just comes with with time. It's it's a maturity issue, right? Yeah, like it's exactly that. When yeah, I'm I'm a massive proponent of this that we not even in in the United States, just in the world, we've lost the ability to like disagree with each other. Mm. We have to like if you don't believe what I believe about anything, you're a monster. Um, you're ca I, you're canceled. Yeah. Like, forget about it. Like, uh, you'll never work in this town again. And so I'm like, man, what would it be like if we just were like, oh, you know what? Uh, real talk, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. The way that you see things, I just, it, it would never occur to me. I would like to understand why you believe the things that you believe. Because I'm fascinated by it, you know? I, but uh, it comes with, like, seeing people as people. I preached a sermon not too long ago on... Uh... Proverbs four twenty four above all how above all else guard your heart for it is the wellspring mm -hmm. of life, and uh, talked about the Hebrew word le lev, uh for heart there, and how it's like okay. essentially what it translates to is the core of your being, like the oh, the yeah. core of who you are, and my whole point being like we have let so many things into our lave these days, whether it be politics or for us nerds like Star Wars that when somebody disagrees with us on on uh, uh last jedi we get like angry actually yeah very physically angry, angry. Yeah. yes it's a, it's a visceral reaction right or if, if we find out that somebody is a democrat we yeah. how can you be a christian how dare you and that's like we've let so many dumb things into our lave and we need to recalibrate that. Like we just need to be like, okay, what have I let into my heart and how do I fix that? Absolutely, man. Oh, I'm about to get burned. There we go. We're okay. I, I was listening to a a Bible project study on it wasn't the lave, but it was kind of it was the the same basic concept. Like this like what is the soul? What it what did it mean mm. to the ancient to the ancient Hebrews? Um and so like it was it was interesting to kind of like see that and to think about it from a different perspective yeah you know that it's it's the life like that's that's the thing um but the lave i like that that's another thing because that's, that's the way that the ancient world thought about things right was like they they didn't have a word for brain like, right because <laughs> right you know that's it's just bonkers to think about but they still talked about these really deep you know, theological and philosophical subjects without having the actual language for it. Oh, geez, man. I could just chat with you for a million years. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't talked about LTN at all. Do you want to like to tell us oh. a little bit about LTN, man? I feel like I'm kind of always talking about LTN. So if I'm not, I do apologize. Um, <laughs> every uh, basic, basically all of the things that I think, um, and, no, no problem, and say, um, yeah, wrong chat. <laughs> um, all the things that I think and say and, and believe in some way, shape or form are expressed through love thy nerd. And so like even, even talking about, you know, how like missions are done and, you know, relationships and, you know, we do things in the short term, not just for the short term, but also just to be able to experience things in the long term. Like I want to be able to build a long, meaningful relationships with people. Um, that stuff is born out of belief systems and worldviews that I have that mm -hmm. aren't necessarily Baptist. They're not. Um, it, it's it's not really one thing or the or the other. Let's get some stars. Yeah. Not it's not really one thing or the other. But but what it is is it's it's rooted in a desire to see, you know, Christ preach to the nations, and for people to come to know Him and to love Him and hopefully experience things uh, experience him in a similar or even the same way that that i do um my hope is that people would come to know him in a better way than i do <laughs> right you know yeah it's the same thing as like you know when you have kids you just you want them to be better than you um that's that should be the hope anyway is that they they're just better at things than you are yeah. you know it's like absolutely I'm not spending all this time for you to be as good as me <laughs> like <laughs> no 
We're not how, starting how else am I going to live vicariously for, through you? Absolutely, Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> I, I already can't can't pay for my 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 home, uh, my vacation <laughs> space. Um, so, love thy nerd. Uh, we we get to do that. Me. <laughs> yeah, we get to we get to live that we get to live that out in some really interesting and uh, I would say important ways. Mm. Um, and you know, you know uh, Rocket Rocket seen that. Um, he's a he's a supporter of of Love Thy Nerd, proponent of what we do. You are, um, you know, it's uh, this is a literal rat's maze, by the way. Yeah, and I'm I'm stuck in it. It's okay. I'll bring you. And so, I mean, we get to go. Uh, we do get to go all over the world. Um, I was talking with you before we were actually rolling about how we're not we're not a global ministry, but we do ministry globally. Right. And it, it's it's different and it's important to kind of know and understand the differences in those terms that we, we do work domestically, but in the nature of what we do, wait, it, wait, it wait, 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 come back, come back, come back. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, in the, in the nature of what we do, the internet is, is a global entity. Yeah. Um, oops, missed it. I think, I think you were in the right place before. Now, now we're uh, that was just, that was just to get that. And then we'll go up. Okay. And so, um, I think, right, there wasn't a... There was a cave over there. Was there? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. That's what you get for leaving me in charge. <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. How did you get over there? This way. This way. And then we got to go around this little bush. Got it. Yeah, well, first try. So we do get to do all that stuff, and it's really great. Um, oh, this guy. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's all it. Does. That's, That's <laughs> it. I'm sure there's a way to trigger something with him, but right? He, I mean, literally, he's a troll, and so. <laughs> what are you gonna do? This way. Yep. Yeah, but no. Nope. But it's uh, it's it's super cool that we you know get to be this love of Jesus to nerds and nerd culture, and I absolutely love, I love explaining that to people and just watching them go. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Why we don't have we don't have forty stars? Why would you do that? What what a waste of time? And I'm like, hmm, I don't I don't think that it is. You know, because if we see, if we're going to use like church speak, if we're going to see nerds as a quote unquote unreached people group exactly um then we have to we have to be able to to call a spade a spade to look at that thing look at those things and realize you know what's going on and so at the end of the day it's do you really want to see christ preach to the nations okay that doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to go and talk to everybody (laughs) you know uh, or that you're going to go and talk to everybody that you can talk to right um, but this is the same basic concept as like, hey, you know, Miss Opal from your church, blue haired lady, you know, she's a stalwart, love her to death. She's not going to get online. She's not going right. to sit here and play, uh, you know, nobody saves the world on a live stream on Twitch and lead people to Jesus. She's just not going to do it. Right. Actually, next week, I'm guest star. Oh, get out. You got Opal? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> we found her. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's like you, you, she's she's not gonna do that oh i got egg i got egg egg it up oh no oh no we made the wrong choice <laughs> okay we're dead great what are we gonna what are we gonna hatch in th- <laughs> is that it i don't know Cozy up under a right. big bird's butt. That's what it's called. Okay, uh, we, we did it. Um, I don't want to be that anymore. <laughs> I feel I feel dirty. Coward. Yeah. I love it now. <laughs> now, now we have a stench to us that I'm actually quite a fan of. Oh right? you, yeah, <laughs> look at that. You're brown. Yeah. Jeez, I wonder why. Okay. I get... <laughs> uh, oh, I died. Yeah, dang oh, it! Trying to dude, that... <laughs> trying to be a smart aleck. I died. I told you that egg squishy. <laughs> <laughs> squishy. All right. Oh no, I'm still the egg. There we go. But yeah, I mean, like we we get a chance, and I mean, you and I, we get a chance to do these things. Yeah. If I'm not level 25, I don't know about you, but oh, I am. 
But no, no okay. for, for your sake, we'll we'll go somewhere else. Oh, thanks. Yeah, appreciate. Yeah. It. <laughs> we we get to do these things that like if you if you would have asked you know ten year old us. Like, <laughs> Hey, do you think you you would be able to do this? And I'm, I'm probably ten year old us would have said absolutely, um, but more mature us right. would have said I'm, I'm under no circumstances. <laughs> so something we're supposed to do um, with that? Yeah, probably. I don't know how to get that to trigger. I would guess something heavy, bodybuilder, maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. Incubate. Okay. Oh, recovers. Oh, nice. Okay, so when I'm being terrible, we can take a moment so I can heal myself. Yeah. Oh, I have a thing. I haven't even been doing that. Oh, yeah. Wait, how how come you have that? You have it too? No, I don't get to use this one. It's locked. Oh, well, it's because the uh, El Arata is is upgraded a little bit more. He must be at level 20. Oh, that must be it. Hang on. But you should absolutely put a passive on. Yeah, I just did hard and shit. What is that one? Uh, never lose more than a third of your max health from oh, a single hit. Oh, all right. Right? Is that hey, that should, that should help you a lot. Yeah, oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's the one I want. Oh, wait, no, your attack build's poison? Heck yes. Yeah, Because that means sick. I can take this and uh, do the horse one with it. Oh no! Oh yeah, you you could put gallop on on your no, on incubate. yourself. Incubate is what I want. Ooh, you could do that too. Yeah, there we go. Because there now I have all the abilities. Dude, do I want incubate? Oh please, now you got me thinking. Because <laughs> I've got I've got rat teeth. Right. And so does, need, so does your character. I don't need chomp. Here, let's do this. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Stop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> game. Yeah, it's making game. me look bad in front of my friends here. <laughs> Um, all right, we're gonna do this one, that, and then we're gonna do this one, incubate. Oh yeah, yeah. yes sir. Yep. Yep, yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right, we have 19 minutes. Where are we going? Come on, let's make something uh, happen. Yeah, man. You're 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 let's you're go. the boss. You're the guy. Right, let's go do. Can't do that because we are the worst. Let's go down here. Let's see if we can get on here. Get our stars. Back. Oh yeah, yeah. Thieves yeah. guild. Thieves guild. Yeah, these these punks stole our stars from us. How dare they? Oh, I've got. What do you get? I, I exploded him. Oh, nice. He's just kind of a beefcake, and so they <laughs> they have to be poisoned in order to be exploded. But then they can explode, which is wonderful. Really, if you can ever explode a person, yeah, why not? Right? I, do, I guess do it. I mean, not. That's not legal advice. But... <laughs> in uh, where no. are you going? No, we want Southwest. I don't know. Southwest. Listen, listen. <laughs> in D and D three point five, uh, there was a prestige class called Blood Mages, and at higher oh, yeah. at higher levels, one of the things you could do was called blood teleportation, which was <laughs> okay. if somebody was bleeding, if there was blood anywhere, you could teleport through it and erupt out of another person up to like a hundred miles away dealing them like 10 d6 points of damage it oh what yeah <laughs> you literally burst you, like people could be sitting around the dinner table eating some food having a good time and all of a sudden a bludge made it just made it just <laughs> burst <laughs> out of grandma <laughs> you're dead <laughs> that's gnarly yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was wild. <laughs> Teeves good. Teeves good indeed. Teeves good. We're a lesser peon. I just got the uh, the achievement for that. The chivo. Chivi. Where are our stars? We got some of them back. Oh, there we so go. So we got okay. we got ten back. Nice, 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 nice. So we're just picking up all these questuses. For sure. All these quest loves. Man, all these quest loves. <laughs> this game is, like, I had just done a couple of the dungeons and wandered around a little bit. It oh, is dude. so much bigger than I had any idea. It opens all the way up. Okay, this one, 
This is going to be interesting. All right. So yeah. it's, we're going to have to break the wards based on, you know, obviously whatever they're, um, whatever they're shielded with. And we just have to do it all within a time frame. Uh, I like that on the wall, there's the Keyblade, the Master Sword, <laughs> the Buster Sword. That's uh, the sword from Transistor, from Supergiant. The three top ones I don't recognize, but yeah. So the the far, the far left one that we can't see because it's covered, that's um, the Energy Sword from Halo. Oh, yeah, I see it now, yeah. And, and I think that's the blade from Xenoblade Chronicles in the okay. middle. Okay, all right. The circle looks familiar. Upper right. Is that Soul Caliber? Mm, maybe. I think it's Soul Caliber. So Soul Soul Edge is what it's called, right? Soul Edge, yeah. Yeah, and then the one just below that, also, I'm not sure. The big one. Yeah, the other big one. What is that? That's not the one that. Uh... No, I was gonna say, is that the one that Pyramid Head? No, had? no. Pyramid Head had one looking like uh, more like a Buster Sword. Right, so, so we need. Smash ems and slice ems. I have both. And them. so I, I have okay, if you want to do smashes, okay. I'll do slices. Cool. Because I don't have I don't have it equipped right now. Yep. Okay. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Nice. That's you. Yeah, look right. at this is so much easier with two people. <laughs> Grief. It's ridiculous how much easier this is with two people. All right. Um, all I right, got I've... choppies. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. I got teeth. Yeah. Uh, wait, that may not work. That may not work. Hold on. Actually, technically, I have both, I think. Because my sword poisons now, right? Oh, no. My sword poisons. That doesn't make it count as dark energy, though. Yeah, I think, no, it needs to be an ability that does that, which right. mine is upgraded. I'm just going to roll the dice. I'm going to see if it works. Yeah, yours should work just fine. Your bite. Yeah. Should It should. Yeah. I'll talk to Knife Bro. I'm going top left. Cool. Oh, yeah, it worked. It worked. Oh, right. Okay. Nice. You have an arrow now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad. I'm a, I'm a rat that's ready to make it happen. Hey, we got right. that. Yep, we do. I got all three of those. The t okay, you're going to have to do all the smashing. Cool. Can do. I don't have any of it. Smash. Whenever you're ready. Cool. There's a cool down on my... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. 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 So uh, I think we both need smashies because the cooldown yeah. is going to be an issue there. Let's see. We're going to change that. I'm going to go gallop. Okay. Good call. That way we can just run through it. Yeah. Make it happen. Start. Yeah. <laughs> it's voice activated. <laughs> huh. Oh, nope. wrong button. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Dang it. I pushed the wrong yep. button. Yep. It's fine. We got <laughs> ding, this. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we got this. I believe right. in us. I'm going down. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. man. Every time is that... What do they want us to do? Okay. That's pretty fast. I'm going to go right and up, and so, I'll just stay up there. Because I can do the the sword thing, too. So you, yeah, you, you go do, left and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left and down. You do right and up, and then I'll stay downward to get the glow ones. Yes. Yeah. And I'll stay up to get the okay. other ones. Cool. See you around, Rocket. Later, Rocket. Oh, yes! Wow! Yes! It's a game for babies! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's almost too easy, you know? It's like... Yeah. Come on, man. Give us a challenge. <laughs> there's another one of those. 
We got the chicken one. I don't even know what that is. What is the chicken one? Th those are the thieves. We're in the thieves guild uh, right now. Got it. Got it. If we were taking the time to even care about half of the story, we would know that we're <laughs> in the thieves guild. Rain tree. Hey man, what's up? Yo, what is going on? I I uh, hear we might be seeing a little bit more of each other. Yeah, yeah. I uh, uh, I have asked Bubba if he wanted to be the guest speaker at Wynema this year. So we'll see. He's gonna he's gonna look into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my people call your people. Right, right. The weird part is my people are my person is Bubba, and so he's just gonna <laughs> yeah. like this is gonna be like a phone in one ear and like uh, another one on the other, and he's just gonna be like this talking to himself. So. <laughs> Basically, that's yeah. like pretty accurate, actually. <laughs> what is that purple thing over here? What's this purple drink? Oh, it's this thing over here. <laughs> this purple drink? Purple drink. Purple oh, whoa, bargains. Ooh. Humans and mutants only. I'm a human. Am I not a human? Oh, you're not a human, you oh, filthy I'm an, animal. Sorry, I'm an animal. I'm an animal. How uh, dare you, sir? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mommy send you on an errand? <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah, basically. Not that I was up for it. Yeah. I don't know that your wife would let you not come. Like, <laughs> yeah. You literally proposed to her at this place. Yeah, you're you're <laughs> locked in, my guy. <laughs> but it, I don't what, understand. Yeah, I don't what even know. Doing? what What are we doing? What is happening? Let's go. No. Michael Stallcup. Let's I'm trying. I can't. I don't know. I want a bargain. I want a bargain. <laughs> what is I oh, mean he's, he's picking his teeth with this <laughs> this big old dagger. Yeah. There you go. Twenty bottle caps. Twenty bottle caps. Well, we're in uh I literally, I was like, 20, what the heck are the bottle caps for? And he's, why are you looking so confused? Me in physical time and space <laughs> are wondering why he gave us bottle caps. All right, well. Probably ask a lifeguard now. I, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they're going to actually hire one this year. You know, like they were supposed to last year. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I feel like we're in Fallout now, trading in caps. Did we do it? I don't know. You got me not reading the text. I'm a text reader. Oh, go, I, we gotta, we gotta buy four of them. Oh, okay. So now, all right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got it. Ford, got it. Yep. Okay. And I'm just the local bodyguard, I guess, because I'm. You can no, you, for, no, you go get one. No, me go get one. Okay. Uh, but no animals. Okay. So yeah, just me in general. Yep. 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 Okay. And then. We need one more. Yep. So what if I become normal? I there is no normal. I'm, here. I, well, it's it's the what? It's a little. It's what? It's it's the guy at the bottom, the nobody. I almost said the white dude. No, I don't. Um, my guy, my thing at the bottom is an egg because I've never turned into him before. I have to actually oh. choose him. Who else do for we him have? To be added. So there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if this counts. Nope. Yeah, one per customer. Yeah, still counts as. Uh, can did our did I our get one? It. Yeah, one person. Yeah. Okay. Everyone else we have is an animal. <laughs> Wrong button. We need uh, to level up Guard somebody. Rat. Killer B. Well, how we is this an animal? I maybe. I let's try it. Is your? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I try. You I, did. I you you made an effort there. It, it was work. it was good. It was a good idea. So we're just short uh, one person. So how much till we level up to either bodybuilder, bodybuilder, either bodybuilder or magician? Because I feel like it's got to be uh, close. Oh, right? yeah, we're close on the guard. Yeah. How do we level Let's, me uh, up? Well, 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 we can both be the guard. Yeah. What are we, oh, what are we shooting for though? I haven't changed into him yet. Uh, we need dark damage from the guard, stomping three baddies at once. And recovering mana with horsepower. So we need to use other th other people's abilities, but I need fine. to. Why uh... don't you just put horsepower there? Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have the chomp. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We got we got 10 minutes. We got this. Let's make this happen. We just need to find a place to murder. That's all. Muck duck. Gulp. There we go. Here's a murder place. Oh, wait. I took the, the poison thing out of the chomp off. Okay, hold on. All right. Well, well, we we have, just had a poison. No, it's with like, dark damage. We, ha we have... My my slashy does the poison over time. Does poison, but is, is that dark damage? It's not dark damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want to do that real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's here. So it's... I guess it is. It is. Well, you can go ahead and switch if you want to. It's not a big deal. No, I have it. Yeah, it says dark damage. So is it, should, it counting? It should. Oh, it did. Yes. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, so now we just need the the stompy, right? You doing the thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm stomping, stomping him. Here, I'll leave that guy for you to, to horse run over. Well, I have to. That's... I was at a, I was at a <laughs> mana. We're so close. Oh, dude. We're so close. This. I Tell believe me. in us. We're babies. <laughs> Fallout is a great guy. Fallout is a great Fallout guy. Is a, He's a great is a person. Great I, I remember <laughs> Fallout. He's a great guy. We go way back. Yeah, way back. Remember that missions trip we went on with Fallout? It was a weird, oh, weird man. time. We were, I think we were the Fallout boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, How do man. I get over there? I don't know that we do. No, come on. There's a thing. There's a There's a thing over there. <laughs> the, that his background error is board games. Raintree's wondering if you're in your garage or some sort of storage place. Yes, no, absolutely, I am. Absolutely, I am. <laughs> oh wait, no, you're supposed to be running. You're supposed to be running. Oh crap, I forgot. Okay, uh, just kidding. <laughs> what is this? Hey, what the, is that? What does he want? The, What's this little bald guy? Want? Oh, let's find out. What's up, little guy? Oh, so hot. That's it. He just needs to find a gulp, a big gulp. Okay. Yeah, big gulp, huh? Well, see you later. <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's, there's the dated reference, huh? I love that movie. My wife hates it, man. I, I have not seen it since I was like 13 years old, and I don't want to because I'm certain I'm going to think it's absolutely stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't meet your heroes, man. Like, yeah. That's just really what it boils down to. I did that with Space Jam a couple of years ago where I went uh, oh. Dumb and Dumber, Rain Tree. I did it with Space Jam. It was like one of my favorite childhood films. And uh, you just wasted your magic on, on to catch oh, up with worry, me. Don't worry, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. I'll get it back. <laughs> I got plenty of it. I went back and watched it, and oh my gosh, it was so dumb. Michael Jordan is a terrible actor. Like it was, man. Uh, he's about as good as at acting as he is at uh, baseball. Baseball, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Years ago was the operative term uh, there, Rain Tree. Just y years ago. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Hmm. You know, dude, have you seen the most recent Space Jam with LeBron Bron? Yes. Woof. Yeah, okay, good. I'll say it's, it is worse than the original, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> it really is, man. I didn't want to say anything until, like, <laughs> I, think, I no, actually yeah, enjoyed that's it. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was real, real bad. Yeah, it you was go. hard to watch, dude. Although one thing I do find ironic that that movie pointed out is the fact that Michael B. Jordan is famous <laughs> under that name because Michael Jordan yeah. uh, was in the original Space Jam movie. He joined hey, the Actors man. Guild, so. Nope. Little pig, little pig. Yeah, same Rain man. Tree. I thought he was about to say that he enjoyed it. Like, no, run, run. That's what you want. Oh, gotta... This is what we want, right? Yeah, Wait, oh, to... no. Recover mana with horsepower's passive. How do we do that? I don't know. It says also stomp three baddies at once. I can do that. This is... one. Recover mana? Oh, when you break objects. That's the one. Not running. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go. Okay. Okay. Bubba, 
Yes, sir. Do you want to keep playing this game with me? Absolutely. I want to keep playing this game with you. <laughs> okay. I have to go pick up my kids right now. Oh. And so here's well. what. Let, let's plan to do this again sometime soon. Can we please do that? Let me stomp these. Uh, yes. Okay. So, chat, here's what I'm going to tell you. I, I want to say I want to respect Bubba's time, but I think Bubba wants to keep playing, so we have to respect. I'm probably going to keep playing. After we have this. to respect my wife's time, is what it is. There you go. And yeah, I have let's to go call spade a spade here. <laughs> I have to go get my kids. Um, and uh, dude, this ability, the the healing, right? yes, heck yes. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna call this. Let's find a save point real quick. Let's find a spot where we can save. Uh, I don't think it's up there. That that's no. the okay. That's a bad area. Oh, I see. I see one. I got one in there. Oh yeah. Man, I never use that mini map. I got to use that mini map. Send your hey, kids an fun. Uber for real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, this yeah, was super that, fun, and I really I definitely want to do sure. this again. Absolutely. Uh, okay, chat. We are going to call this right here. One more time, Bubba. Tell us uh, where you can find LTN stuff. Hey, go to lovethynerd.com, and all of the information that you need is there. And um, I'd love to answer any questions that you have. If you want to contact me directly, Bubba at lovethynerd.com or basically Bubba underscore LTN on any major social platform. And yeah, we can talk more about it. And then more importantly, uh, tell us uh, one more time where First Baptist Marble Falls is and uh, what kind of yeah. stuff you guys got going on. It's all the title. It's, it's First Baptist is in Marble Falls. And we got a lot of great stuff going on. One thing that we did not even really get to crack open, and maybe we'll do it again later as we get closer, which I'm sure that we will, is the Nerd Culture Ministry Summit, where we are going to be bringing in, hopefully, our, our goal is 250 organizations. And we're going to train ministry leaders, not just church staff, but ministry leaders, how to better love and serve their nerdy neighbors by bringing in people who are experts and professionals in the area. Um, not in the area of Texas, but in the area of nerd culture ministry. Right. And so right. Um, it's going to be a blast. Steve, I think you're going to be there. I don't know yeah, if we've talked to there. you specifically about it, but yeah, we're we're going to have people come in and, and train so that they can better love and serve the nerds in their space. That's and awesome. you can find out probably all about that. Uh, websites coming soon. Socials are coming soon. All that good stuff. But for my church, you can go to discoverfirst.com and find out more about us there. Uh, Rain Tree says that he will contact you and he's sending memes, just so you know. So, oh, yeah, I would expect nothing less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, chat, one more time. We want to say thank you so much for being here. We love that each and every one of you were here, but always remember that there's a church nearby you that would love it if you were there. See you next time, guys.